Well, welcome to Court Farms. And this is going to be a let's play with me, Mr. Dex. I have decided to replace the uh, Goldstream Farm series with this one. We may very well return to the Goldstream Farm, but I fancied a change. And the change I had was coming to Court Farms and building my own farm, which we will expand upon. We are starting with pretty much the opening equipment you get on your farmer. I have made a few substitutions. Uh, I have put in a, a case tractor, a, sorry, a class tractor instead of the John Deere. I've put a couple of my own trailers in and I have given myself a, a, a bail loader. That's pretty much what I've done. Oh, I've also swapped out the harvester into a case harvester as opposed to the New Holland. But otherwise, we are pretty much going to be starting out with, with the baseline. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to run this series for. I'm not sure what the direction is going to be fully um, aimed at. However, today's episode we are going to be doing contract work. That is the plan. So we're going to start out with contracts. I don't plan to use the equipment that the contract gives you. I have my own with any luck. So like I said, we've got quite a lot of the opening equipment that comes with New Farmer. Um, and the first contract we are going to do is grass. So we have got the mower there. We have a tether somewhere. We have a windrow. So we should be all good to go on that part. We are starting with 50,000 in the bank balance, um, partly just to give me a chance to buy things that we might need for seed, fertilizer, etc, etc, but the rest we are going to be earning. First things first though, let's go and get our mower hooked up. because we will absolutely need this. I do have the cosplay and auto drive mods installed. However, what I don't have is the auto drive route. Now, I very much fancied doing my own farm because I haven't done that properly before. And that's what this is meant to be, is a proper attempt at doing a farm. It doesn't feel too bad. It's maybe not as tight as some British farms are, but it's compact. I think the field is down here. I haven't actually picked the contract up just yet. And my other fear is that it is through other fields, which might make this even harder to navigate. And of course, I've got a car behind me. There's always traffic on the road when you don't need it. find somewhere to pull over, I will check the air. Uh, the route. Yes, so it 
might be down here, it might not be. If it's not down here, we're going to have to do a U-turn and go back up and cut through three fields. Now whilst I have the hood turned off, I don't necessarily feel like I need to have the hood turned off. This is, like I said, let's play, not uh, all play. So I think this is the, uh, the field. I am going to leave the air uh, over there and I will come back. So I'm going to get the tether and the wind rower. And then we can make a start. And then get the baler and the bale trailer. I have left traffic on for the time being. Again, I don't normally play with traffic turned on, so we will see how this pans out. I mean, so far there's been no collisions, so that's always a bonus. He says whilst almost colliding. I don't have a head tracker so it does make it difficult to do the, uh, the, the looking around the turns. It's part of the reason why I don't have um, traffic turned on. Now again, on this series I have turned manual attach off. Only because I want to be able to enjoy the game. And sometimes that does make things a bit difficult. As does driving with the wind roar on the front. I don't think this would be quite so legal in the UK. So yeah, so this series for me is a way of just enjoying the game in the last few months before Farm Sim 25 comes out. I have invested in a new PC which has yet to arrive. It is being built as we speak and that will definitely improve this game quality but should also allow me to have a very good experience in FS25 when that does release. Whilst this PC may well cope I didn't want to hit the gamble that it didn't and like many of us I am not the most patient so I wouldn't want to have to wait for a new PC to arrive after I've got FS25. So I bit the bullet and did it straight away. My bank balance does not thank me for it. Now, like most things um, in the YouTube world, uh, likes, comments 
and subscriptions do make a big difference in a channel and I have noticed that I am struggling a little bit with getting new subscribers I am also struggling with likes and comments so if anyone is willing and able to do that for me that would be fantastic and that just gets the video seen by a few more people which hopefully expands things greatly to a much wider audience Right, now I was trying to do this with just staying in the cab and trying to make it semi-realistic as if I was doing this in real life. Um, but I think I am going to struggle doing this for the full duration of the episode. Especially when it comes to doing time lapses, which I have not decided whether to do that yet or not. Today, that is. Right, we're definitely on the right field because I'm cutting the grass, so that is fantastic. My navigation skills are getting better. Now, this contract gives us about £7,000 and it's a very small field, relatively speaking. So, I am quite amazed by that. I'm not quite sure what the best way to do this was going to be if I'm going to stay in cab because I can't actually see where I've been cutting. Which then means I'm not quite sure where to line up when it comes to doing the next headland. I assume if I follow this tract, that should do it. Yes, okay. That is how we're going to play this. Okay, so I think for this, um, I am not going to time lapse it, I am just going to do the field. I am going to do this now until it's done, and I will catch up with you once we are doing the next step, which should be telling. And then once we've done that, we will be doing the wind rowing and then the bailing. Which sounds like a fantastic plan. So I'll catch up with you in a moment. Right, that is the uh, grass all cut. We've now got the tether on. It didn't take very long to do the field, as expected. Um, not sure how I'm going to do it this one up but we'll see. I have decided I think when we come to doing the wind ring I will do that from out of cab. Not time lapsed but just not from in the cab. But yeah I really do like this map. Um, I've had a quick scan. I can't see any videos on my channel from this map. I could have sworn I did a, a few videos early on when this first came out um, and I'd started recording, but I can't see them. So I, that was in my head or I did some recordings, but it never actually went onto YouTube. I will be having another look shortly to uh, just triple check that. I'm just amazed I never actually did do a series on this. Um, it's a fantastic map. I can only think Moss Valley came out around the same time that I was considering doing a series. 
and I elected to do it on there instead. Because by that stage I think everyone else was doing court farm videos. That's my only theory. I have no other explanation other than that. But yes, I think this is going to be a cracking uh, deal for £7,000 for the size field it is. We're not using the biggest equipment and it is taking no time whatsoever to get this done. And I must say, I am being remarkably accurate for not being able to see behind me. I'm quite impressed by that. I think we all get used to um, our creature comforts and doing things that make the job easy and effective. And I am not doing that on this occasion. I am trying to do something a bit different. Uh, so I missed a little bit there, but the wind rower and the bale will still pick that up, so we're, we're all good. This will be the last pass. It is. Perfect. And like I said, I'm going to do the next bit out of um, cab just for a change of experience. Not going to time lapse it, just going to let you watch me do it. This actually works from being attached to the front, so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm still going to do it out of a uh, cab. But yeah, I hadn't realised this was a front attachment. all done now too. So next step, baling. I am going to go and bale and load the baler off camera and then get back to you when we're heading to the cell point. So I will uh, catch up with you very very soon. Right so again 
it didn't take very long at all to build these. We did 180 centimeter builds and we got six of them. There we go, fantastic. So that should mean we get one trip to the sell point, which is good. And from that we should be earning quite a few pennies. And that will then be the end of today's episode. So for those of you who do watch, I'd really be interested to find out what it is you enjoy watching, what it is you'd like me to change or improve upon, um, because ultimately I enjoy playing the game, but I want to make sure that if I'm recording something, it's what you want to see, and not what I think you want to see. Right, I think that's uh, all six. It certainly looks like there's nothing left on the field. Right, I will see you at the cell point. Right, so it should be this end section, I think, for bills. That, that looks about right. So he is hoping they would like six Mr. Dex wrapped bills. Well, I say wrapped, net wrapped. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, okay. You can't do a U-turn there. Uh, you can't loop around, so you can do a U-turn, because that's what I'm doing now. Oh, I hit someone's car as well. Oh dear. Right, let's get a quick getaway before we uh, get caught. Anyway, I think we have done quite well. We've done one contract there, that's £7,000. Uh, it was relatively quick and simple. I am optimistic that with my new PC I can render the videos quicker, so hopefully that will allow me to maybe do 40 50 minute videos at some point not every time but give me the option to my uh, upload speed is still a little bit um lacking but i have tips and tricks around that as well so yeah i will get myself tied up back at the farm and i will catch you all very very soon so for those who have been watching Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.